Okay, so we're going to start page 126, figure 4-54, letter G. And I'm going to start with a circle. I'm going to say that that center circle that runs through the three little circles is a 4.5 diameter. So I'm going to get a center diameter. Start it over here, and it's 4. Then, uh, so I know that there are two circles right at my top quadrant. I also know that this triangle is a, an equilateral triangle. Um, from the center, each of those, each of those corners is equal distance apart. Um, so this is actually, pretty easy uh, project. So I'm going to go, I'm going to draw the first uh, two circles first. I'm going to go center diameter right at the top quadrant. And the small one is a 0.56 diameter. And the outer one is a radius of 0.62. So I'm going to go radius using the same point. 0.62, and I'm just going to use the polar array and array those two. So I'm going to go polar array. Put down these two objects. Enter. Uh, my center point is here, and I want. It says how many items? Tangent lines. So let me go down to turn on tangent line here. Enter, enter here to here. Enter, enter here to here. And we're simply going to trim. I see. These are one entity because I use the array. So I have to highlight them. I have to use the explode command. Explode. Yes. This we're going to turn into a center line. We do need to put in a center line. Oh, we need to put in a big circle first. Uh, that a little too empty now. Center line. Uh, 2.25. Center line, so I'm going to go annotate, center mark, and click on it. And that's it. Then you just add in your dimensions. Assuming you can do that. Uh, the last one is over on page 127, figure 4 55, letter D. We'll start with, uh, start with the two large circles in the middle. They have a diameter of 2.75, and they are 3.38 inches away from each other. So, center. Um, 
somewhere over here, 2.75. Grab it at the center, pull it this way, and type in 2.38. Um, let's see. I know that from the middle of this, going back to the left and over to the right, Half of 7.5 is where the center of my X circles are. So, actually, no, I'm gonna, because I'm running out of space here. Over here, we'll finish it up and then we'll move it back. So I need to go, what is half of 7.5? So I know half of seven is 3.5. Is 0.25, so 3.5 plus 0.25, 3.75. So I'm going to draw from the midpoint here, this direction, 3.75. That is going to be my center point for a 0.75 diameter. So I have a two inch radius around this outside. So my center radius is in the center. Two. Two. One outside. One inch radius around this one. From the center here, here, I have to go up half of three point five, so point seven five. Go up to center point for my point seven five. Point five radius is going to connect these two. So one point one two is going to connect these two. So to connect these two with an arc, circle panel and the tangent in radius. This, this. There's a lot of circles here. Pretty much have everything done that I need to have done. In fact, I'm going to delete 
I believe this. Concentrate on the left side, and then we'll just move everything to the right side. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go. This full circle and this full circle. Here's the map that we want. Okay, so now I'm just going to mirror from this lesson. I'm going to mirror all of this using this mirror line. Finish training. On this, move this thing around. When you add in your dimensions, if you need to move them. Maybe one time. They fit. Do what you need to do to make them so that they fit properly. They still look good. Okay. Uh, hopefully, this was helpful. And again, add your dimensions. Uh, I think I need to add all the dimensions for you. You can do that. Uh, just using, if you have linear dimensions. Meaning, meaning straight line, and straight up, linear, everything else you should be able to do with just a minute. All right.